that a sports team had to pivot from telling sports to telling the hostage crisis. I don't know really how many people know this story. There's a hostage situation going on right now in the Olympic Village. ABC want news to take over. No offense, guys, but your sports, you're way over your head. More 100 yards away from where it's happening. This is no longer the Olympics. This is our story, and we're keeping it. Who are you? <laughs> I, this is Tim Feldbaum. He's uh, the director of September 5, and he's Swiss. Uh, this is John Madaro. He plays the character of Jeffrey Mason in September 5, and he's from New York. I think you're supposed to ask me this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you prepare for your role as Jeff Mason, John? Luckily, the real Jeff Mason is still alive and with us and <laughs> was very eager to be a part of uh, or be involved in any way he could with the, the story. So right away, I had conversations with him about what went on that day, about how he worked at that time. So in the States, they do CBS Sunday football. And for a month and a half, I w was able to go in there constantly and shadow the directors and the producers. And so when we showed up on set, uh, it just became natural. Uh, what was your approach to the authenticity of the story? The big source of, of, of research on, on how to tell the story or structure the story was the original tapes. And at a certain point, we finally got sent all the material that ABC Sports did send on that day. ABC Sports brings to you the 1972 Summer Olympics from here in Munich, West Germany. The games are the first in history to be broadcast live via satellite across the world. And we're clear. Great job, everyone. We were lucky enough to find the original plans of the studios and the production designer, Julian uh, Wagner, and his yeah, team. They did an amazing job. Yeah. I mean, that production design, that set was you know, stepping into a time machine. Yeah. It was stunning. So it was important for us that these devices also still worked. And that was not easy to, to find mm, I bet. Uh, the technology from back then. But we wanted to give today's audience a feeling like of the analog technique of yeah. back then. What were difficulties in maintaining tension in a story that people already know? Well, what I'll say is, I mean, this is a question for you too. I'd like to hear your answer, but they know the story of the hostage situation and all that. But before I got this script, especially for if you're not from, you know, if you weren't around in 1972, I didn't know that, you know, ABC Sports was the only thing on the ground. This is more about how would these people or how we imagine these people dealt with the situation, what's coming at them. So it was more about the questions of uh, journalistic responsibilities and, uh, and more than about what happened um, mm. on the outside. So are they seeing what we're seeing? What are you talking about? Are the terrorists seeing this? What yeah. elements of Jeff were important for you to bring to the surface while portraying him? Oh. For me, it was really interesting to see if he can keep his principles intact when covering something so different and also so uh, wrought with uh, stakes for everyone involved. He's left conflicted, and I think that makes for interesting characters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was the intention behind limiting the room? I think that's more for you. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. Um, what was the intention on limiting the room? We originally also thought of maybe telling it from different perspectives and at a certain point had this conversation with Jeffrey Mason and this was for the first time when it clicked for us in a way, oh maybe it would be interesting to entirely tell the story only from that perspective and this intrigued me for two reasons I think, like the one reason is that I personally found it an interesting challenge from a filmmaker's point of view mm -hmm. to tell something from a very limited space. And the other thing is that I am working in the media myself and I felt much more comfortable also on telling a story about from the media's perspective because I think this is something I can tell something about. <laughs> Which scene stuck with you the most and why? Ah, man, I'm so bad at these because like I, I, don't, I want to name like three. The first time calling the show when we go live, that scene stucks with me because it's just 
shooting that scene was so intense. Three, two, one. I'm Jim McKay speaking to you live from ABC headquarters. The end scene probably with Leone, obviously, because that's such a, it was a difficult scene. Um, and then I think, you did, oh, this is such a cop out, but the end in the car, what's yours? I would also say the one scene that we worked on a lot also, with, it was a really nice experience to work on that scene with you and Leone, like the, the very last scene yeah, between yeah. the two. Uh, the other scene would be, I think, when, um, Rune Arlich and Marvin Bader and your character are discussing on the on the hallway what to do if mm. if they shoot would shoot someone if they shoot someone on live television wait whose story is that ours or theirs <laughs>